Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're listening along today. And join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link down below for you to click on or you can just search for us right on Facebook. Today we're going to be doing a haul video. I have a small pile here of items that we pick up for 99 cents just to give you an idea of most of our bread and butter stuff and what we won't shy away from when it's only 99 cents. We do have a high volume, a high volume based business, high volume, low cost. Um, of course, we do have stuff that does sell for a lot more and we have luxury items and we have follow items. But, you know, you find those a couple here, a couple there every week. Um, but when we go out, the majority of what we find is these 99 cent bread and butter items. Um, that are going to sell for mid-range prices but in high volume so if you do want to have a high volume based business just keep in mind that the cost of goods needs to be low enough to sustain that so because we get everything for 99 cents it is you're going to see some things that most people would tell you are poo and like i wouldn't source that but we do because we get it for 99 cents it sells for 15 18 bucks you know it's a good profit so there's also some Bolo brands in here. Nothing extremely expensive or luxury brand, but some good Bolo brands that are mid-range to high-end bread and butter, and even low-end, you know, higher dollar items. Let's jump on in. So this is Chaps. This is nothing I would ever recommend anyone getting unless you could get it for, you know, 99 cents, maybe even $2, like if you're paying by weight at the bins. Um, we do well with this brand for men's button front shirts. I do avoid it at all costs for women's, even if it's 99 cents. But the men's extra large um, and the double XL button front shirts in this brand, we do well with. So there's that. Um, I do have two scrub tops here. Let me show you those real quick. So you might be familiar with a brand called Wonder Wink. That is a scrub brand you want to be on the lookout for. But they also have this offshoot called um, wonder work everyday durable so if you ever see wonder work or wonder wink they always have this little guy winking that is a good brand of scrub tops as you can see this is plain solid colored and kind of a smaller size and I will still pick it up in this brand a lot of my scrubs I have rules for like oh it's got to be a cool print some kind of graphics or it's got to be a bigger size but not with Wonder Wink. This is official NHL. This is sports ball. <laughs> this is the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins hockey team. We do find a lot of Steelers, Pirates, and Penguins stuff here. You know why? Because <laughs> we live here in Pittsburgh. Um, but we do well with those kinds of things. So um, This is Jossay Bank. So this is another one like Chaps. We mess around with it because we get it for 99 cents. We look for the men's only. I do not pick this up um, t-shirts or anything like that. Just the men's Joss A. Banks button front shirts. And they usually um, will only get the extra larger, larger. Next up, this is a uh, Bolo. This is Guess. So there's a lot of things in Guess you probably want to avoid. I do like picking up the women's jeans and Guess. I do well with those. They sell for about $20 to $25 typically for me. Um, and the men's Pearl Snap shirts. So if you watched my haul video yesterday, I did talk a little bit more about Pearl Snaps and how most brands are good. Um, even your low-end bread and butter brands, if you can find a men's Pearl Snap shirt, you can sell it for a little bit more than other types of shirts. This has the clear Mother of Pearl Snap. It is guest brand. It does have cool embroidery with the plaid print. So keep your eyes out for all pearl snaps. There's a couple of those in here to show you. This is uh, Boss. So again, we only grab this if it's 99 cents. And we only get the button front shirts in the bigger sizes. Next up, we have a Converse men's shirt. So again, if these weren't 99 cents, we would not source them, but we do get them for 99 cents. And they sell for about $20 to $25, depending on size and style. 
I do like this brand for men's butt and front shirts. I've tried the jeans before, um, the women's Converse branded jeans, and they just took forever to sell. Very low sell-through rate. So I don't really pick those up anymore unless they're like a big size or something unique. We have another guest brand pearl snap shirt. This one has the pockets with the pearl snaps, the two breast pockets. It has the stitching around the back that's nice. And these buttons are like a really nice light gray, almost a mother of pearl. Then we have a shirt. <laughs> this is a shirt. Oh, this is a brand you want to be on the lookout for. Untuck it. Grab this brand when you see it. Uh, usually, now we haven't had any of these in a while, but we used to flip these for 30, 35, and 40, depending on the size. These were all the rage when they first came out because um, men can wear these without tucking them in, but they still look um, professional, like work clothing or like they're dressed up. Um, if you're not familiar with the Untuck It brand, it's dress shirts you can wear untucked and still look dressed up. So when these first, you know, came out a couple years ago or became very popular, um, the used ones would sell really super fast and for really good money. Um, we're going to have to look them up because we haven't had any in a while. Um, I would find these in Florida when we lived down there, but the thrift store would have them priced at 40 and 50 bucks. There's no room there to flip it, right? So this one we got for um, half off. It was like two bucks and it is a 3XL. That helps too. You can always raise your prices on items that are larger sizes. Next up, we have a Van Hussein. So this is a kind of a poop brand. I would, I would tell you, unless you're finding this for 99 cents or less, or your pay by weight at the Benz is really good, or if you have a sofa bag sale at a church, um, you know, then you can get it if you can find the bigger sizes. This is an extra large tall. So that is a good size. This is for tall men and it's extra large. And so even with brands like this, when we find those big sizes, the plus sizes for women, the tall sizes for men, the bigger shirts, we always grab them um, because those will sell for quicker and for more for quicker. They will sell for quicker. They will sell much, quick, much more quickly. They will sell faster for more money. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have another Pearl Snap, American Eagle Outfitters. This is a solid bread and butter brand for these shirts for men. Keith usually starts them anywhere from 18 to 25, and that just depends on the size, if it has embroidery, anything special. Um, they sell pretty quick. This one is a double XL. Just a nice looking Pearl Snap shirt. We love our Pearl Snap shirt. All right, next up we have a uniform shirt. I actually found this in the women's scrubs. But it says it's a small, so I'm thinking it's a men's, and it just got put over in with the uniforms in the thrift. This is Dimline Protection Plus. Um, I'm not too familiar with it. We'll comp it. We'll look it up. For 99 cents, I brought it home. Because I, and we do well with uniforms of all kinds, all brands. Um snap buttons not pearl snap see how the cloth is in the middle but it's still a snap button so you can use that as a keyword and then i just have a couple pairs of jeans i'm going to show you real quick we've got riders these are plus size 18 w so 18 is a good size um for 99 cents i do like to buy any plus size jeans I find. Like I mentioned just a couple seconds ago, plus sizes, tall sizes, big sizes, you're going to do really well with them. They just do. Wrangler. Um, I always grab Wrangler when I find it for 99 cents. If it's more than that, I typically will leave it behind and then just hope it's there the next week when it's on sale. Um, with the exception, they do have a line of Wrangler jeans for men that are fireproof or fire protectant fire retardant whatever the word is um and those sell for a lot of money so i will pay up to like five dollars for those but these are women's wranglers i usually start those around 20. the men's wranglers um sell faster so these may sit for like you know the average average time to sell clothing is six to nine months 
um, for most of your bread and butter brands, unless there's something special about it. And you know, there's always the exception to the rule. Some things do so quickly. But the men's Wranglers, under a month, every time. And I, I priced them at 25 bucks and out they fly. Um, I think that Wrangler men's jeans have a following and they have loyal customers, loyal wearers. wearers. These are Levi's, <laughs> 550. These are women's size 14, which is considered plus size on most platforms. And then um, I'm going to try these. I feel like I've had this brand before out of the thrown out box and it was kind of poop. But these were 99 cents and they were button fly. And they have that elastic stretching, shaping, slimming tummy band. And with button fly for 99 cents, I'm going to try them. Plus they're a smaller size. So they're going to ship first class. They also have raw hems and they are distressed. So these have some things going for them. They're slimming, they have button fly, they're distressed, they have raw hems. So, you know, they were worth the 99 cent risk. And then I do have a bolo for you. And these I paid $2.50 for half off. Adriana Goldschmidt. This is the brand you want to look out for. Hey guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. Go be productive, go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.